Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. Today, as I'm talking with you, it is right here, August 18th. So that means it is day 152 days in some form of shelter because of COVID-19. Wherever you are, how much you are out, I hope everything around you is going really well. And I am wishing you to do everything you can to stay healthy, and happy and safe. Wear a mask, please. Keep some physical distance while you're socially connecting. Help everyone around you to feel safe and they know you're helping them. That is my offering for the COVID-19 and you. I would like that relationship to be a very distant relationship. And on this day, I learned something. You're gonna say, oh, I'm gonna, so what? I'm gonna tell you anyway, if it's okay. That is, I, got a new whiteboard, big one, and it has legs on it so that I can raise it and I can lower it and I am happy. I love whiteboards. Other people use something else. That is just peachy keeny fine with me. I like the old fashioned whiteboards. Now what I learned after all of these years of using whiteboards is that the whiteboard marker is different than the whiteboard dry erase markers. Now, you probably learned that a long time ago. I didn't know because I have just always bought the dry erase. When I got my new whiteboard, it had a little plastic bag of three whiteboard markers. I tried them. They flowed beautifully. They showed what I wanted, and then I wanted to erase them. So I have this marvelous eraser that one of my clients gave me a long time ago. And it looks kind of like the shape of an iron and you hold it and the erase part is a gray fabric on the bottom and you erase it. The good news is, and what I like is that when it gets all grungy, you can just peel it off and automatically you have a clean whiteboard wiper. Well, guess what? I used a whiteboard marker. It didn't come off. Oh, a little bit of it did. And there was such a shadow that I could still read what I had put. So I have some spray and I thought, well, we'll try that. So I got a paper towel I sprayed, not so good, still some shadow. So I got some rubbing alcohol, moistened another paper towel, wiped it down, it came off. And then I started wondering why is it that at my office, my other office away from home, I can use the markers and I'm trying to make myself not wipe them off with my finger. However, 
I can wipe them off with my finger with no shadow. And then I thought, you know, there's a difference in the chemical makeup of those markers. So I went online and I looked, total difference. So I went to my office and I got one of my dry erase markers and I used it on my new whiteboard like that, it erased. So this is really important to me. It may not be to you, it may be something you already know. However, what I would like you to remember from all of this story is words are important. Words give meaning and that meaning affects our behavior. And the outcome of that behavior affects our being able to be content and happy and satisfied. So when you want someone to listen to you, use the words the way you mean them so that they can interpret the meaning as well as possible and that you can have the outcome that you want. Important. There's some saying about sticks and stones will break my bones and words will never hurt me. Well, sometimes words hurt. And even if they didn't, every one of us has a meaning to each of the words that we use. So it's very important when we use a word that we double check that the other person has the same or as close as possible, the same meaning as we do. And just that part about dry erase with the word marker makes a difference. And I'm offering that for you. When you use a word, the other words that you use with it really matter. You don't want the person to have to Google and try to figure out what you mean, because that's not going to work. So you're going to offer the closest way you can, and then check with them and ask them, did I make sense? How did it feel? Is that a word that fits with you? And then if it's not, ask them what word does fit with them. So that as soon as possible, as often as possible, and as clearly as possible, you're speaking the same words and getting the same meaning with each other. Not talking perfection, we're talking about practice, and progress because words do matter. Especially when we're wearing a mask and people can't see our expressions or we're on a Zoom call. People are paying attention to what we say because the words matter now even more than what they did. All right, go forth. Pay attention to your words. Pay attention to other people's words. Just practice so that when you talk, even if you have physical distancing, you don't have physical disconnecting. All right, take care. Come back. I will be here and I will be watching for you. Bye for now.